What is up, everybody out there in Hero Clicks land? This is Scott Porter, back once again, this time, not for an unboxing series, but for a very special Hero Clicks for Huntington's map and legacy card preview. If you don't know what Hero Clicks for Huntington's is, it is an incredible event that we run in conjunction with WizKids and Howard Brock and Lucky Dice Cafe down in Huntsville, Alabama, where we raise a ton of money for a very worthy cause, the Huntington's Disease Society of America. If you haven't seen the live stream where we unveiled a ton of our prizing, some of our exclusive prizes, like a brand new bystander token, and a lot of this summer's convention exclusives, I gently nudge you to go to WizKids' official YouTube channel, right here, and uh, watch the live stream that was hosted by VMuse where I shared a ton of information for the event. Two things I did not talk about were this year's map and this year's legacy card. You see, at Hero Clicks for Huntington's, we have exclusive prizes that you can't get anywhere else. One of those is to win a chance to create a map, all your own. And that takes place in the Scott Porter Invitational Teams event. You can also win a map in the Rock World Championships that happen on Sunday, May 5th this year. And on top of that, I design a map. And uh, this year's map is very, very cool. And it has map rules, actually, for I think the first time since maybe around the Fantastic Four era. I don't know. It's been a few years since we had a map with official map rules. On top of that, if you uh, play very, very well, but also in a kind manner, uh, one of our <laughs> teams in the Scott Porter Invitational Team event also gets to design a legacy card to uh, attach itself to an older figure to be announced in an upcoming set. So we're going to talk about both those things today. Uh, first, we're going to start with our legacy card. Now, we don't have an image because the legacy card attached to this prize is in an unannounced set for WizKids that is not coming out uh, anytime soon. So, it's a couple of sets away. However, uh, we are auctioning off a factory set of this <laughs> up until now unnamed and past this video unnamed set that's upcoming in our auction that takes place on Saturday, May 4th. So I wanted to share with you a couple of notes from the designers and from WizKids about this year's legacy card winners. Uh, the team was Calderness and Spencer White and Matt Reed, and they decided to design a legacy card to bring back the rare Captain America from Marvel Hero Clicks What If. That's set number 36. So all you legacy card hawks, go find them online and pick them up. Um, Captain America will be, like I said, appearing in an upcoming set that is unnamed. And it's too soon to show it off right now because WizKids doesn't want to spoil a set that's so many sets away. However, we do have a couple of details that we can share here. Captain America is 75 points. He has seven keywords. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucky number seven. And one of which is Marksman. There are more than two bystanders on this Captain America Legacy card rework. He will have the following trait on your left. Free. Once per game, if an opponent's force has more characters than yours, generate all bystanders on this card. Like I said, we don't have an image of the card. Sometimes we're able to show that off. We were able to show that off with Daniel Powell's Iron Man we were rework last year. Uh, but this year, we cannot show Calder, Spencer, and Matt's off just yet. But we can't wait to see it. So keep your eyes out. If you want to take part in the Scott Porter Invitational 3 vs. 3 Teams uh, Extreme Highlander Modern Age 400 point tournament, join us down in Huntsville, Alabama for our event from May 1st through May 5th. The Scott Porter Invitational takes place on that Friday, Friday, May 3rd. Um, yeah, whoo! All right, that kicks us off. Now, I wanted to take a walk down memory lane. I want to, first of all, thank everybody out there who has taken part in Hero Clicks for Huntington's. We started out as an all-virtual event online, and everybody jumped into the Discord and played in online tournaments and online battle royals. And in that first year, we designed a very special map that was near and dear to me, and I think very near and dear to a lot of you out there. It's the place that I shoot all my unboxing videos. So this was our 2021 map, and it was Hyper RPG. All right, let's take a quick look in here. There are so many cool details uh, that we can see on a map like this, and it's so cool to get in there and design all the things that I want to add. Like this right here in this square, this arcade cabinet, could be seen on screen all the time in my unboxing videos. It's the Hyper RPG uh, 
cabinet there. And then down below the TV screen behind also has uh, some images on it, the Hyper RPG logo, et cetera, et cetera. Over here is where Zach or Joe or the gang would sit and, uh, you know, help me out. And it was just such a cool map. I wanted to do a lot of elevated terrain in the middle. I wanted to have some hindering on the outside. And this was really kind of the beginning of doing asymmetrical maps. They told me that I was able to do that. So uh, that was the first map. And I should say, all of the maps that we have created in the past are available to order on our Heroclix for Huntington's website. Let's move into the second year and the second map. Another map that means a lot to me. Um, I was on a show that a lot of people love that had some crossover appeal. I know it's not a genre show, but that show is Friday Night Lights. So in the second year, I thought it might be cool to do a little homage to that show with our Panther Fieldhouse map. You can see the iconic quote, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose at the top here. Um, there's even a signature of mine that exists in the show, Jason Street, on one of the squares. Again, so cool that they let me put all of these little details in. Um, the coach's office, the film room, all of these really, really cool parts of the show live on. I sat in that chair many, many times while Coach Taylor sat right here and told me that I could do it. I could make it through all of the trials and tribulations. So there is the Panther Fieldhouse map. And again, if you missed any of these maps, you can go to HeroClicksForHuntingtons.com, click on store, and these will be available to order throughout the month of May. Moving into year three, we did something even cooler. Um, there is a little movie I did all the way back in 2008 that didn't catch much acclaim when it first came out, but now is kind of a cult classic. This movie, of course, is called Speed Racer. I played the character of Rex Racer. No spoilers, but something happens in the middle of the movie where Rex kind of takes a different path, let's say. So, for the year three, we not only did one map, we did a variant for it that actually was a part of the film. So let's take a look at the Racer Motors Garage. Now, what's so cool about this map is you see the old version Rex is Mach 4. You see the Mach 5 in the garage. Um, very, very cool attributes that they have to this map. Our artist, C Stevie Z, has me send him photos of so much stuff. This is exactly what the banquet table and the couch and everything looks like in the kitchen of the racer family. There is a big scene that takes place in the kitchen where they have a little mini explosion uh, and you can see the blender sitting here. Um, this is the car that I drive in after getting into a little bit of a wreck with my little brother, Speed. This is Speed's go-kart here in the garage and Rex's Mach 4. This map was so fun to design and I can't believe we actually got the logo up here as well, the Racer Motors logo. And I think it's a great homage to this particular film that I had so much fun shooting with the Wachowskis. Then we move into the variant map. Now, this variant map was so fun to describe to Steve, our, uh, our map designer. I actually found the clip of a scene where Rex saves his family. Um, a bomb is sent to their garage. He shoves this bomb into a go-kart, breaks a broom in half, sticks the broom in the bottom on the gas, and the go-kart drives out into the road and blows up. Well, after I showed Stevie that scene, he said, why don't we have the blown up go-kart in the garage itself for the variant map? So let's take a peek at it. All right, in the garage, you can still see the newer version of the Mach 5 over here, right? The new souped up, tooled up after Speed Racer has grown a little older. And you see Rex, uh, Racer X's number nine car, right? If you don't know the journey of Rex Racer and Racer X, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a little something there. So instead of Rex Racer's Mach 4, you've got Racer X's number nine car. But over here, you can see the blown up go-kart. And over here, you can even see the broken mop handle and mop bucket. <laughs> that was the tool in which Rex Racer saved his family. So enough about our old maps. This is just such a cool variant. Now, something you guys need to know before we look at the next maps is the variant maps are only available in very specific ways. You've got to show up to the event and play for them. You got to win them or 
if you're at home, you can win these awesome variant maps in our auction that takes place on Saturday, May 4th. Now, the auction will open on Wednesday, May 1st, and you'll be able to start looking at items and start bidding on items, and you'll be able to look at this year's variant map for the design that I made for the 2024 uh, Hero Clicks for Huntington's event. So, if this next map that I show you, which is our first two by two map, if you noticed, all the other maps are three by two, the old maps. The new map style is two by two, and as of this year, <laughs> that's what everything is being played on. So, I designed my first ever two by two map. It's based on a video game. So, over time, we did an unboxing series map, right? The studio that I shoot in here. We did a television show that I was a part of. We did a film that I was a part of, and I thought it was about time to go to a video game franchise that I was a part of. Telltale Studios was an incredible studio that lets you play choose your own adventure type stories. They took on a little known property called The Walking Dead. Everybody knows Lee and Clementine's story from season one, but I was honored enough to be a part of season two. I played a character named Luke and became somewhat of a protector of the lead character that you then play as in the second game, Clementine. Luke met an unfortunate end uh, towards the end of that second season, and it happened in an ice lake. So I decided to design for this year's Hero Clicks for Huntington's event an ice lake map, and here we have it. Now, when you go online and you watch scenes about The Walking Dead Season 2, uh, Luke's fate or ice lake, this is pretty much what you see. The characters start their journey here at the bottom of the map, and you can see tree lines everywhere. Very, very cool. We have some fallen tree trunks. We have some big boulders that are blocking terrain. We have a hunting blind here that gives you some elevated. But in the middle, we have the ice lake itself, where danger was sure to occur, and unfortunately for Luke, happened. At the top, there is a half-finished house, and I love this art design that Stevie came up with. Did a really great job. We have some elevated on the finished portion of the home, but we have some hindering terrain for the unfinished portion of the home on this ice lake, ice lake map. Now, at the bottom of the map, you will see for the first time in a while, we have some official map rules. Squares within the border are the within the orange border are the frozen lake. At the end of each player's turn, that player rolls a d6. If a character in the frozen lake attacked this turn, increase the result by plus two. On a roll of six, generate a water marker in the square of a character in the frozen lake that either attacked or was hit this turn. If possible, the water marker must be generated into a square that isn't water. Characters occupying water terrain in the frozen lake modify their combat values by negative one. So, you can choose to do battle in the middle of the ice lake, but you have to roll to see if you are going to fall through. If you try to venture across the ice lake to the other side and people start taking shots at you from range, there is a possibility that the ice could, call, could fall out from underneath you. I think there are a lot of interesting strategies that can happen here, and I'm very excited to see what you, the Heroclix community, come up with. Now, before I show you the variant map, I want to remind you, the only way to win the variant map, which is going to have an awesome, really cool gold border and have some special additions, Easter eggs and such, uh, the only way to win that is to compete in some of our tournaments, whether that is the Scott Porter versus the World Sealed Tournament that happens on Saturday, May 4th, whether it is the Rock World Championships or the Scott Porter Invitational Teams Tournament. We will have the gold-bordered variant map of this ice lake scattered throughout the weekend, as well as, like I said earlier, in the auction. And of course, if you win a map in the auction, I am able to sign it for you as long as you get me your request by the end of our event weekend. So if you win a map in the auction on Saturday night, send me an email to scottporterheroclicks at gmail.com uh, within that next day, and I will sign it, and we will get it in the mail to you that Monday, May 6th. It's that 
easy. Remember, the purple version that I just showed you is available for purchase. So anybody anywhere can get a copy of this purple variant unsigned uh, because we will take the orders and then uh, Gamer Mats will print all of them up and mail them out at the end of May. But um, you can purchase this all month long and all proceeds outside of production costs go to the Huntington's Disease Society of America uh, in the name of Heroclix for Huntington's. So if you're not able to the attend the event but you would love a copy of this map, you can do so, you can purchase it on uh, HeroClicksForHuntingtons.com and like I said, all proceeds go directly to HDSA. Okay, what's in Scott Porter's cup today? Oh yeah, look at this, Heroclix for Huntington's mug. You can also win these in the auction, but mm. today I got some coffee. That's right, Phil's, if you've never been there, Phil's with a Z, uh, it's a West Coast coffee shop. Woo! I get, a, I get a dancing water with a little bit of milk, no sugar. Oh, it's so good. That's what in Scott Porter's cup today. All right, let's move now into the variant map, okay? You saw this guy, the non-bloody, non-zombie war. Well, in the variant map, there are some changes. Um, you can see some blood splatters on the map. Of course, there was some zombie warfare, so that was bound to happen. There's a little bit of different coloration, of course, like I said, these blood splatters and such, but there are two very cool Easter eggs for fans of the Walking Dead Telltale video game series. One of them is Luke's machete. Now, my character Luke carried this thing and protected Clem throughout the course of the game with this machete was always on him. Unfortunately, well, Luke, he fell through the ice, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, spoilers, I know. Uh, but this is what remains of Luke. It's his machete on the ice here. The lead character, Clementine, is just a little girl in the first game. She's grown up a couple of years in the second game, but she still carries her same trademark purple backpack with some yellow daisies and some flowers on it. And guess what, guys? Before she went into the comfort of this home, after the battle with the zombies, she left her backpack, as most kids are wont to do, just right at the bottom of the stairs. So there is Clementine's backpack. We have Luke's machete down there and the ice lake. The rules are exactly the same. You'll have a beautiful gold border on this. And uh, I'm so excited for you all to get to play with this. I love the little Easter eggs that we have. Now, let me tell you a little something about the day that I found out Luke was going to fall through the ice. I didn't know until I showed up to record that morning that my character was dying. And my friends over at Telltale told me that Luke was a very beloved character, and they did some testing with some small focus groups that were fans of the series. Now, if you never played the Telltale series, they would release monthly in episode format, right? So episode one, two, three, four, and five. Each season would have actual episodes. Very cool. I showed up, I'm reading, I'm doing my stuff for episode five, I'm, you know, I'm having a great time. And then I, all of a sudden, these, these options, these, these, you know, choices in my dialogue start to get a little hairy. And then I, I fall kind of halfway into the ice, and I ask the Telltale guys, hey, are, are you killing me? And they're behind the glass on the other side of the sound studio. If you don't know how it works, like I'm in one side in a soundproof room with my microphone, and they're sitting on the other side by the soundboard with an engineer. And uh, one of the guys leans in and is like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, we did some testing with these focus groups, and, and your death had the most impact. So, yeah, we're, we, yeah, sorry, man. We, we should have told you before you came in today. <laughs> and that's, that's how Luke met his fate. And what was fun is I was also doing another game for the Minecraft story mode for Telltale, uh, which was another series that they had, and I played a, played a character named Lucas. And in the second season of that game, they started going through portals into different worlds. And there is a little Easter egg in that series for you where Lucas comes in through this portal and goes, don't go in there. It's full of ice lakes. <laughs> and it was just a little nod from Lucas to Luke, my character in The Walking Dead. Now, this isn't the only map that will be available uh, for purchase in our auction or to win in our events over the course of the weekend. We're gonna take a look at two more maps here. Um, the first one, having been designed by one of our top two teams in the Scott Porter Invitational Teams Tournament, which again, this year is taking place on Friday, May the 3rd. So let's take a look at Major Brock's Bunker. 
This map was designed by Easton Brock, Jay Major, and Jalen Major. They got second place in the tournament last year, and they chose to design a map. They designed Major Brock's Bunker. Now, if you know Howard Brock, the whole rock situation, you know, he's the head of it all. I like to think he's sitting right here in this chair. But I want to give you a little bit of a peek at what they designed. And again, they did this as a team, which I think is so cool because our event is all about community. It's all about building fellowship and connections and friendships through this game, Hero Clicks, that we love so much. So here you go. You've got Heroes Games there, little logo on the map. You've got the Hero Clicks for Huntington's Family is Everything logo there. You've got a good amount of elevated terrain indoor, which is really, really cool. And of course, up here, where it all happens, the captain's seat, the major's seat, if you will. What I think is so cool about this map is that they paid homage to themselves. Um, J Major, Jalen Major, of course, and Easton Brock. So it's really the three of them. Maybe that's why there's three chairs here. But I like to think Howard's here in spirit as well. So this is just one of the other maps that you will be able to win in our various events and in the auction at our Hero Clicks for Huntington's weekend. Before we look at the last map, just want to remind you, if you go to HeroClicksForHuntingtons.com, you can see a full schedule of all of these tournaments. You can also see full prizing lists, and I guarantee you all, you will not see greater prizing uh, anytime soon. WizKids is so generous with everything they give us to share with the community, and I'm just so excited to do it once again here in our fourth annual Hero Clicks for Huntington's event. So go to HeroClicksForHuntington's.com for event schedule, for prizing, and all of that. Last thing last, we have our very last map. Now, Easton Brock uh, was a part of one of our top two teams in the Scott Porter Invitational. He also won the Rock World Championships, and this was the map that he designed. This is the Brock and Roll concert venue. You can see here on the stage I think you have to play Dazzler on this map, right? Or, or maybe, uh, is there a Lila Cheney? Who, who else in comics is a rock star, right? You got the drums here. Oh, Gwen. G Spider Gwen on this map? Come on. Drumming up there. I love you got a percussion section over here that is blocking, by the way. Nobody touches the percussion section or the keyboard. Nobody. Nobody touchy. Nobody touchy the keyboard. It's impossible to get through. Down here at the bottom, you have some other blocking terrain, as well as some hindering terrain. You've got the sound booth up here, and you've got all this seating, all this elevated seating, and you can see it changes elevation, one to two, two to three, three to four. So the higher you are up in the nosebleeds, the more advantageous your position might possibly be for you. You've got some water terrain on here. It's at the park. I don't know, what is this? What do we think, guys? Is the porta potty leaking? I'm not too sure. Or is that just a pond and it's just sitting there uh, you know, on the edge of the pond. You know, you hear running water, you got to take care of some business, you know, but there you go. Easton Brock designed this map as well. Okay, that is everything we have to show you today in our official Hero Clicks for Huntington's uh, legacy card and map preview video. I have to say thank you to Hyper RPG. They donated, donated their time. Joe's on the ones and twos in the back. Uh, Zach and Malika offered up their uh, beautiful space for me to come and shoot this. So thank you to them. Thank you once again to WizKids for everything that they donate to this event to make it a huge success. Thank you to Stevie Z, who is the artist that designs all of these maps for us. And thank you, of course, to Gamer Mats because uh, these maps are made at a discounted cost. Gamer Mats uh, sends us so much product to share with you guys. They get these maps turned out. They're beautiful. They're hard. Uh, they're, they're not hard, but they're neoprene maps that are really hard to damage. They lay flat. They're, they're just beautiful products, and uh, you know they're just so fun to play on. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite parts of the Hero Clicks for Huntington's thing, is being able to design things that are gonna be a part of the game and having people's feedback. And so many people have reacted so uh, kindly to the first few maps, and I hope you love the maps that we have designed for this year. So the Ice, Make Lap, uh, Ice Lake map, <laughs> Major Brock's Bunker, and the new Brock and Roll map will all be available at our event 
over the course of the event weekend. And of course, the old maps will be up for sale uh, while supplies last or by order through the website. Uh, you can find our storefront at HeroClicksForHuntingtons.com. I hope to see you all down in Huntsville, Alabama from May 1st through May 5th. If I don't see you there, don't forget we have plenty of ways that virtual gamers can get involved. We have online battle royals as well as our auction to get you a ton of incredible swag. Uh, if you have any questions about the event, uh, you can also contact us through the website, HeroClicksForHuntingtons.com, or reach out to me at ScottPorterHeroClicks at gmail.com. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. I can't wait to see how successful the event is. I hope to see you down there or online. And until I do, as always, may all your roles be critical hits. Peace.